rock stars. Eric Andres, your guitar sage here to teach you how to play Flight of Icarus by Iron Maiden. That's right. This is one of the lovely gems that brought me to play guitar. I'm going to show you all but the solo. This is just going to take too darn long. But I'm going to show you everything but the solo. If you want more information about this song here, um, you can hit the tab below and that'll bring you to my blog that'll have the tab and all that good stuff. So check that out. Okay, in the meanwhile, I'm going to show you the bits and pieces here, starting with the intro. That's a good place to start, right? Now, there are a lot of bar chords in this particular tune, and you know what bar chords are, right? Sure you do. If you don't, you need to know what they are. So you need to go watch my video on power chords. Did I say power chords or bar chords? I think it said bar chords. I meant power chords. This has a lot of power chords in it. It does have one bar chord in it. So if you need help with both of those, you need to watch those videos. Uh, here on YouTube, type in your guitar stage bar chords or your guitar stage power chords, depending on what your need is, okay? So assuming that you know how to play those, you've watched those videos, let's delve into this tune, okay? So let's say I should say, Every part of this tune is going to be some form of power chord with the exception of two chords. I'll tell you when I get to them. For the rest of the time, just assume we're doing power chords, okay? So, it starts off like this. Okay, this is an A power chord, E, F sharp. Right? E, F, F sharp. If you don't know the names of the notes across the fretboard you need to, make sure you go get the free ebook at yourguitarsage.com. Links below. It'll help you with that. Okay? So there's... Obviously, I'm not muting there. Just play it open. But then I do start muting like this. Sounds like a bunch of horses running, doesn't it? Galloping, if you will. Right hand muting, if you don't know how to do that here on YouTube, type in right hand muting your guitar sage or your guitar sage right hand muting. It'll help you with that, okay? Okay, so we're doing that pretty much for the whole verse. Also, another little tidbit that a lot of, a lot of guitar players or teachers um, kind of forget, but there's a little bit going on with the left hand here as well. Basically, after each um, riff, or I should say, between that, basically what I'm doing is I'm slightly lifting my fingers off of the frets, or I should say off of, yeah, off of the frets, keeping my fingers on the strings, but just lightly lifting my fingers or the strings, if you will, off the frets. Reason being, I'm doing that is we want a very percussive bump, ba ba bump, ba ba bump, ba ba bump. So like this. If I didn't, let's say I just did right hand muting, it would sound like this. Can you hear the difference? One kind of stays, extends, and the other one does not. So back to this left hand muting, which by the way, I've got videos for that here on YouTube too. You need to check that out. Your guitar stage left hand muting. It's a whole nother bit. But basically, you know, when you're, if you don't do this muting, it's gonna sound weird. It's gonna sound like this. You know, what you want is this. And so between each one, I'm slightly lifting my left hand off of the strings, okay? Or lifting the strings off of the fret. I'm not lifting my hand off of the strings. There's a difference. This would be lifting my hands off the strings. We're not doing that. That's weird. Okay? And it'll make your mom mad, so don't do that. Okay, so we got the intro. Okay, so then there's the bridge part that goes like this. Or not a bridge, it's kind of, a, it's a pre-course, if you will. Okay, well actually the first pre-course doesn't do that, it goes. Let's talk about that. So it's like, 
basically a F sharp power chord. Here we have a G sharp power chord, but it's augmented. So instead of a regular power chord like this, you're gonna put your pinky up to the seventh fret. Then we have A, B, C sharp. going into the second pre-chorus. Okay, so you got the power chords there. You can see what I'm doing rhythmically. Now, here are where those full chords come in, the first or only bar chord that's in this tune, but uh, one of two full chords, meaning not just a power chord. So in this case here, we have an F sharp minor. What I'm doing is here is I'm hitting the lower part of the chord, you know, three or four strings. It's rock and roll, you don't have to be perfect. And then the higher three or four strings. So you go like this. Okay, easy enough. And then same with an E major. Assuming you know these chords, if you don't, get the ebook at your, yourguitarstage.com. It's free. So your mom ain't gonna get mad at you for getting it. Um, but you need to know these basic chords, like an E major, like a F sharp minor. And uh, so this is a bar chord, um, and uh, comes from the E minor, moved up the fretboard, okay? So easy enough. Bar chords take a little to get used to, but you'll, you'll get it. Okay, so we got... And so that is just a slide up and a slide down. I use my second finger. A lot of people ask me specifically where, what fret do you start at, and what fret do you end at? And they talk like that in a very white doctor voice. Excuse me, can you tell me which fret I start at and which one I end at? I don't know why they talk like that, but they do. You know who I'm talking about, they. And so, really, don't think about it that much. It's rock and roll, you know? Your hand is down here, you want to slide up, and, and you want to emphasize the note, and then you you end up where you end up. The less you think about that sort of thing, the better you're gonna be. Um, you'll learn this as you're playing guitar more. You know, guitar players, they don't think, they're not thinking too much, they're just playing, you know? So it's probably not thinking too intricately, unless you're Yngwie Malmsteen. It's a whole nother story. Okay, so. So we got that little bit, and then um, we got, let's see. Okay, what you're gonna do here is basically you've got a power chord, it's a D power chord, but you're, you're gonna pull off to the first finger and back to the second finger. So it's a strum, pull off, strum. All the while, this sixth string is being muted and so are the other notes. Okay, that's why you gotta watch these other videos. Guitar takes time, but if you suck at guitar like I sucked at guitar, you can get as good as me, or better probably, because you won't be making videos, you'll be playing, okay? All right, so. Then we are gonna slide from the E power chord to the D to the E again. And that's one hit. I suppose you could go. Sure. Hit the first one, slide down, slide up, and hit that one again. Sure. That's what's, what's going to sound nice, okay? So what's happening there? That's an E, I'm sorry, it's an F sharp minor, but 
basically by doing this he's creating an F sharp minor 7 chord. You don't have to know what that means. You don't want to. If you want to know, check out the Unstoppable Guitar System. Link is below. I'll teach you all about that sort of thing. You can get in there for one dollar. Wow, that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, so for this Ba, ba, da, da, da. Basically, what you're gonna do is play two, two, two. So that's on strings one, two, three. And then you're gonna play the fifth fret with the second string. But but while you're holding this chord, so. Very cool sound, right? So there, you've got that A, E again. You could hit them as full chords. Power chord's gonna be, would suffice there. Second, second, second chord, pre-chorus is gonna go like this. there we got a little new bit so we got F sharp G sharp A sharp B A G sharp so let's just write back down again you could also be playing this on the sixth and fifth strings like And then we're back into the regular pre-chorus again, and the regular chorus. And the solo chord progression in the background is gonna be. pre-chorus again. So, no new information there, basically the same chords, F sharp, A, E, and then we've got the pre-chorus again, and then there's the outro, which is basically more of the same, just with the guitar solo. So, you know how to play the song, minus the guitar solo. Maybe I'll teach that in a future video, but not today, my friends. Hey, if you need help with anything, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. I'm here to help you. I have a ton of free stuff if you like to play the guitar. I have stuff you can pay for too, but start off with the free stuff, right? If you want the other stuff, then you can you can do that if you'd like. Go to unstoppableguitarsystem.com, uh, yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook there. I also teach live monthly. You can get in on those lessons by going to yourguitarstage.com, getting the ebook. You get on my email list. I will send you notification when I do free lessons and all that good stuff, and it will uh, it'll help with your playing. So here, I'm help. I'm here to help you. Let me know how I can help you. Please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. This world is changing, and we can change it for the good. Just be kind to one another, and play your guitar. See you.